set and tell his latest and match. Okay? Do it for me. Now, get your hands out in front of the line. Now take your hands off the mat and sit. A little difficult, right? Okay? What do you have to do? You have to sit back a little bit and push yourself off the mat. If I'm sat here, I got my toes on the mat and I'm underneath me, right? It's really hard for me to keep all the weight off my hands, okay? So if I'm sat here and I have a bunch of weight on my hands, what's the first thing I have to do before I do anything? I have to push myself, right? You're going to eliminate that. For me, I like to get set. Now this is not comfortable at all, okay? I'm going to sit on my right heel, give me under my butt. Left foot is out here. My heel, I want it on the mat. Okay? It took a long time to stretch everything out to get that foot like that. This isn't comfortable sitting here. What it allows you to do is sit here, no weight on you. Okay? You can get sucked up. Okay? You put a lot of weight down, I can sit here and hold myself. Okay? I don't have to push myself off. I'm already here. I can hold myself off. Which allows me to move my feet. Does that make sense? Okay? So, as I'm sitting here, okay, I have one movement. He lines up on this side, I have one move, he lines up on this side. Both of them and move, involve moving the same leg, I'm going to clear a different arm, okay? So if he lines up on this side here, he'll be out, my hands are inside here, my elbows are inside my knees. I don't have to worry about him bumping me forward to throw a leg right, I'm already sealed up. Okay, how many of you guys get bumped forward, throws the leg right in, right at the back? You guys have that happen? Okay, I'm set here so that doesn't happen. Now, I have very little weight on my hands, and I'm sitting back, okay? So from here, I'm gonna have a strength from my hand to my knee to my toe, and I'm gonna punch here, and I'm gonna rotate my body out, okay? My rotation is a lot faster than a step. Does that make sense, okay? So I'm here, and I'm rotating my body. If I don't move my head and chest up, I'm gonna punch myself in the face. I gotta get out, I'm here. My foot is past my knee, my back toe is in the mat, okay? The reason for that is if I'm coming out and I don't get my foot past my knee, he drives in, can I hold myself? I'm going over. Rotate it here, so if he pushes in, I got something to brace against. My back toe is in the mat, so if he pulls back, I can rotate up. My foot's still here, I can drag my butt. That makes sense. Okay, so I'm set here, got my toe on the mat, I'm ready to go. So he's set here. Even if he crowds this, knee, this toe, he puts his knee there, that's fine because I'm not stepping, I'm rotating it underneath. Now, I rotate my body because I know more than likely he's going to pressure this way, right? I got that foot to push back, I've already got my hand up that way, so I can come in. I hit it again, okay, and I'm rotating out, this back toes in the mat, and he pulls me back, that's fine, I'm going to roll up to a position, I'm going to cut out. He lines up on the other side, I'm already set, I can't move my feet, can I? So I'm going to still clear this leg, and I'm going to clear the arm that he's covering. This time I know his pressure is probably going to go that way off the whistle, so when I go, this back leg's going to windshield wiper, and I'm stepping here. I can already feel him pushing in, that's fine. He pushes in. I'm out. Here. Rotating out. He pulls me back. That's fine. Okay? So right where you're at, get some space. We're gonna go over this step by step.